Cinema 5D at CP Plus 2019 is brought to you by Manfrotto. Imagine more. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinema 5D and I'm here with Ashley from STC. Ashley, how are you? Fine. Hi, I'm Ashley. Uh, Ashley from STC. Um, STC. Where are you from? The company is based in? Okay, the company is based in Taiwan. And what is your speciality? Um, our specialty is about like optical filters and uh, some accessories of uh, cameras. Okay. So what I want to show here, I just pick one because they have plenty. I, ju I just picked one. <laughs> Um, this is a this is type this type of uh, uh, product. How do you call it? It's like an in-body filter, or how would you call it? Yeah, uh, actually, this kind of uh, in-body filter we call it clip filter. Those filters are actually sitting on the sensor, yeah. am I right? And yeah. you also have a series of ND filters for the new cameras for the Canon R, yeah. EOS R Your for. SR. Nikon Z6, Z7, and also we made it for the medium format. Where do you see the benefit okay. of using that type of clip filter instead of front lens filter? When we are using this kind of filter, especially the clip and the filter, if you use like fisheye lens, then you don't have to worry that you can. Uh, now you can use the filter. And second is if you have different size of the lens, you need only one filter to make the. Uh, to make the effect. What strength of ND filters are you producing? They are uh, ND16, uh, ND64, 400, and ND1000. My question is, how dangerous is it? Okay. Because dangerous to the se for the sensor, yeah? When I start to put things inside the camera. Yes. Okay. Actually, I don't think it's dangerous because actually the, it's still some distance between the filter and the, the sensor. It's not that close. Okay, um, how about pricing and availability? Because uh, you sell them independently or you sell th those as a set? Actually, the pricing depends on the function. For example, for ND, the, the, the price is relative. Uh, I think it's acceptable. But for the Astro one, because so many sophisticated coding on it, so the price will be higher. And uh, so, and we also have the, the, the set. For example, we have the set for the ND series, and we have the set for the infrared series, and for different kind of um, grades or different kinds of level. And we have the package price. One thing that I want to, to ask and emphasize is about the quality of glass mm -hmm. because obviously we are, put, we are putting something between the camera sensor yes. and the lens itself. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how good the glass is coating wise and quality wise? How important is this for you guys? Okay, uh, for so many years uh, development in optical field and we found that the quality of glass it's about its flatness. So for all the glass we get, we grind it for like about one hour to make it super flat. And where do you produce? In which country? Uh, of course in Taiwan. Okay, back to the uh, just the pricing system. It, it depends on the filter yes. and obviously the ND filters are a bit more uh, um, the prices are not so high. Yeah. And when it comes to availability for the new cameras, for yeah. like the EOS um, R or Nikon Z, yeah. um, Fujifilm X-T3 and so yeah. on, is it available already? Um, so uh, it, it, it will be available in like one or two months later, but the, the prototype is al almost coming. Yeah. Ashley, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.